there is no manual for going through the February that we went through. Um, and, and so going through the first year, a lot of, a lot of things that, uh, that we can grow from, uh, a lot of areas where you look at and you, know, you go back and evaluate, all right, I like what we did here, I thought this helped us, I thought this hurt us. And uh, just really, over the course of summer, evaluated everything we did. And, uh, and hopefully, we, uh, we've put together a pretty good plan, not only to start the year tonight, but also uh, moving forward. What were some of those key things you think that really just, uh, you really are trying to work on uh, maybe throughout the summer? Well, with, with our, we got eight new guys, and uh, we really only returned one guy who, who started for us last year. So, so uh, getting everything in, getting our, the new guys kind of acclimated to what we're trying to do, and, and get some of the returners uh, up to speed on some of the changes that we're going to make, some things that we're going to do differently based on uh, the personnel that we have. So it's been, uh, it's been a full summer and fall with, with a number of new guys and getting everybody ready for this day and, and, and also uh, the opener moving forward. At the same time, you know, it's a second year for all those players to so kind of know your style a little bit, but really don't have that considering you have eight new faces. All the, all the stars basically are gone besides gains. Yeah, and I, but I do think that there is a, a level of comfort. Obviously, I, I think there's a level of comfort with our staff going through um, the year and getting more comfortable with what we're trying to do. Our returners, although some of the basketball is going to change and, and some things like that, they're more comfortable with uh, what we're all about, what we're trying to do. And, and I also think the fact that, you know, the NCAA passed a rule we can work with with even our new guys during the summer. And, and I think that was big for us with as many new guys as we have. Today isn't going to be, uh, nobody's going to have shock treatment with, with the way we do things or what we're trying to, uh, trying to get out of tonight. Whereas in the past, if we'd had this team tonight, would have been, it would have been wild. Looking back at last year, kind of what did you really uh, like about it? And what do you still feel like uh, you need to work on over this uh, past summer? Uh, I felt like I need to work on like handling the ball more and keeping my jump shot more consistent. And uh, I probably, I really didn't like the, I don't think anybody would like losing nine games in a row. So we just want to quit, like just eliminate that at all times and just like win the most majority of our games, if not all of them. Gotcha. Yeah, I know last year coming to the season, you were kind of the number one uh, player coming into the season for the Mastodons. Kind of everything's going to run through you a little bit. Now you're the senior, still probably the guy to go to. How does that uh, add any pressure or how are you going to hope to try to pass that uh, workload around some? Uh, I don't think it's any more pressure. Last year was a lot of pressure because it was new to me because losing Ben and Zach. But now I've been through it a year by myself, and I feel real comfortable with my teammates and, the, and myself and getting the job done. Yeah, you have, and we have a lot of new faces too, uh, a lot of gra graduations, a couple transfers. Who's going to be some of those other guys that you think are really going to help you uh, kind of change that and not get another nine-game losing streak? Uh, probably Kevin Harden, Pierre Bland. You know, Steve's going to be big inside. And as well as some returns like Joe Edwards and Isaiah McCray. Gotcha. And I know um, you know this is the second year for uh, Tony as a head coach. What are some of the things you guys may have talked about over the summer? You know, some things that maybe he didn't really know what he was getting into right away. Now that he has a year to kind of look back, what are some of those things you guys think he can do to really make a big difference in the standings? Uh, I, I feel like us, like last year, wasn't really it wasn't his fault. It was mainly on us as a team. So. If he just do what he did last year, then we clean up on the floor. I think we got a good chance. Frank had a couple of nice things to say about you, saying you know that streak wasn't really Tony's fault for the first go around. It was really on the players. Do you kind of what do you think you can try to help them to do to try to change that this year? I know we don't want to talk about losing, but I mean just to get them to work together to be ready for you know the pre or the non-conference you have, but also when you get into a conference play. I do think that going through it. The, prepares you to go through it again and may, you know you can make some different decisions and looking back you should have done this you should have done that uh, I do think that um, our team there's a different sense of urgency with Frank in terms of leadership uh, because this is his last year and he did have a sour taste in his mouth at the end whereas you know our, our senior group the, the previous year great guys love him to death but but they relied on the previous class uh, of seniors and weren't quite ready for for the challenges that were going to come their way and I think that our, our seniors this year, uh, especially Frank, and, and we got to throw Mike Kibalowski in that group too because he is he, he's a three year three year guy who's been through it. I think those guys are maybe a, a touch better equipped and prepared, uh, having gone through last year to to maybe do some things in, in terms of leadership to help us through it. If if and hopefully not, we, we do struggle. It's going to be a basically new rotation. Who's some of the big names we should kind of look for, and what do you uh, like about a couple of those guys? I'll be honest with you. Um, We've got so many new guys uh, that I like a lot of uh, a lot of our guys and where they're at and what they're doing. Uh, grab your roster card for our first game because they're all new. 
but, but I do think you're going to see a much different, just the look of our team. We're, we're, going to, we're a little more athletic than we've been. We're longer than we've been. We're going to play uh, a little bit more aggressive on the defensive end. Uh, so we'll see how it all shakes out. we we got some talented guys uh, who, who I think are playing hard, and, uh, and hopefully, hopefully we can make some noise and then have a good year. Do you really have your uh, starting five figured out yet then without, uh, with all those new faces? No. Uh, How many of those five do you think you got in there? Well, I think that, you know, if you were a betting man, which I try not to be, uh, you could probably bet on Frank. Um, I think that, that most people would bet on him starting. And then from there, I'm telling you, uh, right now I think we're, we're too deep at just about every position. And, and Frank is going to be challenged more this year than he's ever been challenged by, uh, by guys who, who, are, who are prepared to come in and compete for his minutes. And, and compete for time, which is good. You, you want that competition in practice, and then hopefully uh, we can continue to turn that and make sure that we're all on the same page on, on game night. So whole new team, uh, exciting new year, and, and I look forward to, uh, to getting out there here in a, about a month or so and playing.